State-run UCDA said Uganda earned 400.3 million US dollars between October last year and August this year, up from 243 million dollars earned in the same period of the 2009-2010 coffee year. The report said the surge in earnings was ascribed to good weather and the rise in coffee prices on global market. Some 309,360 kg bags of coffee were shipped in August, bringing the total cumulative bean exports this season to 2.81 million bags. David Barry is the managing director of Kealangai Coffee Exporters. I think the weather conditions have been generally fav favorable but quite interesting. They've prompted a, a fly crop in certain growing areas that we hadn't uh, factored into our numbers. The prices have been very, very good indeed on the world market. Uh, coffee prices uh, for both Arabicas and Robustas have uh, increased tremendously. So the income for the Uganda farmer has, uh, has, has really, been, in real terms, uh, doubled uh, over the last 12, 12 to 18 months. Southern and southwestern Uganda regions account for 45% of the country's total annual coffee production. Over the course of next year, the report said Uganda will complete distributing coffee wilts disease-resistant varieties to farmers and experiment with new breeds that can withstand drought. Angelo Mukasa, the general manager of the Kealangai Coffee Research Center in Kayunga District in central Uganda, says the coffee boom can also be the extensive support and expertise that the center provides to farmers' cooperatives as well as better farm imputes. Most of the exporters who are in the country, that Chagalani being one of them, we have set up uh, farmer, uh, farmer groups, like here we have 157 farmer groups with a membership of between 25 and uh, 30 members. And from each of these groups, we have 3,000 registered farmers. We extend to them good agricultural practices and, uh, of course, the good husbandry for coffee and also for post-harvest handling. The quality is good enough and also that one ensures that we are getting a better market for our produce. Harvesting is underway in the south and southwestern parts of the East African country and both regions account for 45% of the country's total annual coffee production. Charles Mubiro is a coffee farmer in Kayunga district. Despite good revenues for farmers, he says they still struggle with a lack of pesticides for their crops as well as high taxes on farm imputes. Coffee farming has improved greatly and the returns are good, except that I think there is capacity to produce more. The problem is the tax taxes on farm inputs. We have pests that destroy our coffee crops, but there are no pesticides to treat our crops. We plead with the government to reduce taxes on farm inputs so many people would love to grow coffee. The current coffee season ends this month and Uganda forecasts it will export 3 million bags in this September to October 2011-2012 season.